cool to see James Courtney, Dave Reynolds, Nick Percat all joining us for the Thursday practice press conference. Uh, James, welcome. You seem to go all right at this place. You got that feeling this weekend that you're in for something special? Um, I'd like to say yes. Uh, straight away when I rolled out, of the, I did say yes. So, um, right away when I rolled out of the gate, the car was really good. It's, it's, we've been struggling with the thing being so numb you know, throughout the whole year and, and not having any feel in the car. And straight on that first um, run, it had a, had a lot of feel and I could um, you know, load the car and feel the tyre. So yeah, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's awesome. Feels really good. It's nice. Uh, I know it's only Thursday, but it feels like we've won the championship for BRT <laughs> this season. So, um, <laughs> so do we? Do we um, go that's to awesome. Now? Yeah, I was I was coming around and I saw Tim on the big screen, not smiling, and I knew we were scanning me. So I'm like, Tim, fucking smile. Um, <laughs> it's a good time. So then he smiled, and that was funny. But uh, but yeah, back to your question. It's um, it's good. Love the place. Had a couple of wins here, a few wins here, which is uh, which is good. And, um, yeah, it's a nice way to start the weekend. Well done. And to the man on your right, we caught up in the broadcast, but uh, similar chat here, Dave, just looks like that your car rolled out pretty clean this weekend as well. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it's not no. Do you want to borrow mine? I'll borrow yours. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Actually, can you turn mine? Just turn mine off. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just come over, over hang come out over, with my mate James. Not? So yeah, obviously my car rolled out of the truck really well. Obviously, you know, the first, it's Thursday, so the track's really green. And, um, you know, obviously the times aren't very quick compared to last year. So, you know, there's probably a lot more room in us and the track itself. So, but that, that first run, my car was like a jet. It was amazing. And then my subsequent runs after that, we kind of made the car a little bit worse. So, you know, I think we've got a great base set up to start the weekend. I just hope we don't um, engineer it backwards. What's the vibe like in there with uh, Frosty's farewell this week? Uh, yeah. Hey? Big party, isn't it? Big party. <laughs> no, no, obviously, you know, Mark's had an unbelievable career, 21 years in this sport, at the top of his game. You know, anyone who can withstand this, at, you know, that job at this level has done an incredible job. And he's such a good person, such a good driver. And obviously, you know, he's won, won Bathurst, won the championship. He's a great person. And, um, yeah, it's quite sad because, obviously, you know, part of the reason why I joined the team was to be teammates with him. So... You know, it's sad to only spend a year with him. Well done, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Nick? Nick, let's see. I, I might use mine. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sound check on Nick's working well. Um, <laughs> hey, Nick, it's been a busy couple of weeks for you since you were last uh, racing uh, at the Gold Coast. Um, Just kidding. I thought you were going to propose while you were away. I already have. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> We could have had a European wedding. She said that. She's like, oh, fuck it, let's do had it. Had some other Italian guy, opera, singing. Yeah. It would have been nice. Sorry, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, just the, the the fact that your car also rolled out. I heard you on the radio at one point go, "It's bloody good." So, home track, home round, and with everything that uh, you've been up to in the last couple of weeks, it's good to be back in Adelaide. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, like fresh off the plane, probably drilled the tire bundle because I've still got a bit of jet lag, but um, it rolled out fast, and I think we we're you know quite quick out the gate and. Um, we probably saved his day. We tuned it one way in the middle of the session and then didn't like that. We put it back and it went quicker again on the end, at the end on the same tyre. So it's, I don't know, it seems like it's decent. Um, but yeah, if we can have this podium, I reckon it'd be quite fun. Should we just call it now? Yeah, I reckon we can. It, can it? Um, so what yeah, do you want to do up there? The boys. Hey? Is this thing not working? Oh, working. <laughs> what do you want to do up there? Up, no, I just thought... Let's make a party atmosphere. Okay, yeah. Bring the party back here. <laughs> Bring the party up. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> this has gone sideways. Yes, but it's credit to the I boys. They worked real live. hard. Was this live? It is not live. Thank no, it's not even better. <laughs> credit to the boys. They had a lot of work after um, Gold Coast. We had a bit of damage the last three rounds. So, uh, yeah, credit to them to roll out the truck well. And yeah, it was great fun. Well done. I might hand it over to the journalists and see if they have uh, any more luck than me today. Dave's the journalist. I'm not a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? Uh, I'm hiding it. Boys, what do you take from a session like that? Let's uh, direct that one to James. What do you take from a session like that, James? Um, that the results are awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you could have had three other guys up here and been really bored. But, um, but no, look, it's, it, for us, really, it's, uh, the track's going to evolve so much um, over the next couple of days, you know, all the way till the last lap. So with the street circuits, uh, you've definitely got to chase the car so much. So... Um, 
you know, I can just say, look, I was fast. Now you've got to make sure you keep it up with the track with Saunders. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to work closely with those guys and, and um, you know, tune it as the track cleans up and, and rubbers up. But, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a great way to start the weekend. Such a good confidence booster. You know, street circuits are all about confidence and, and um, you know, and starting the weekend like this definitely, uh, not only for us as the drivers, but also the mechanics, the crews, the engineers, everyone. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a good, nice way to start. Nick, what happened there at the uh, tie barrier when you, when you hit it? Honestly, I just turned that early. I was like, oh, I've completely, basically, yeah. Taught, my one job for the session from the team was um, do not hit the tie bundle because it's a brand new front bar and we torched a bunch of them at the Gold Coast and then um, lap five torched the front bar. So, yeah, I'm in trouble, actually, to be honest. What's the, what's the penalty for that in the team? Uh, ten slabs. Ten? Of yep. tradie beer. Correct. I'll give it to you. How's that? Oh, that's what I was going to do. Save you some money, Nick. Thank you. Do you have it here? Perfect. Nick, uh, is, uh, like, drivers, teams championship, is that a big focus for you and the team uh, here? You know, you're both sort of going all right there, or, or is it all out just trying to get a, a trophy? Um, I obviously just want to win. Um, for me, I want to try and finish in the top five of the championship. It kind of slipped away in the Enduros, which happens. Um, so, yeah, if we can have a good weekend, and I think my best ever results, seventh, so if I can match that. After being told I couldn't drive last year, I'd probably take it. <laughs> oh, wait, last two years. Uh, James... Um... <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you want the truth. No, that's good. I like it. Uh, JC, you just speak the truth up here. BRT still looking for a first podium. Do you feel, is that... Oh, mate, it's a long way to call it out from here, but this is... Uh, I have had a podium every season for 19 seasons or whatever it is, so, yes, I would hope this weekend would be that time. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a great way to start. I love this place. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been. A, I knew it was going to be tough coming to build the team with with Tim and do all this project. Probably didn't realise it was going to be this tough. Um, but yeah, it, it, on the other side, it, it's quite rewarding as well. So with days like today, with you know how the year's gone, it's um, it's good to see that um, you know we in no way are we there yet, but we're sort of heading in the right direction. So yeah, it'd be amazing to have a podium this weekend. Like I said, it'll be like winning the bloody championship. So. Nick, I guess um, maybe seeing Anton smash into the tyres after, you know, helped alleviate the, the feeling of, you know, the, of, of going through it yourself. But what do you reckon, you know, everybody was having a bit of a hard time with that today? Oh, I think we used to use the tyre bundle probably a little bit in the old car, but the, the front bar was a little bit more robust. So now it's, when we get it, it just damages the car. So, um, but yeah, it was, I think a couple of them, got, we all got it pretty hard, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think the old car just used to absorb that a bit better and it wasn't really a massive issue where this uh the way the under tray and stuff is on the new front bar it honestly just destroys it so there's something you guys are gonna have to look at to change your line you the next few yeah days. in the race like if you mine's probably don't do that yeah here. don't do that because mine's torched <laughs> um basically so yeah it's completely destroyed underneath and um yeah from then on that last couple of laps was like a lot of um conserving through turn eight because you don't you just don't want it to fail so in the race, if you see that, that person's probably in a bit of, bit of trouble. So, yeah, we definitely have to watch it. In terms of the, um, you know, the weather forecast for the next few days, is there anything else you guys are going to have to um, work on in terms of dealing with that heat that could be coming on Sunday? We're all right. We've been around a while. Let's hook in and Dave pre I some... still struggle in the heat. Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, not struggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, I've been... What was that article when you're pouring water over you? I know, they took the piss out of me, supercars bad. They put this article about, you know, how hot it's going to be, and it's me, like, just dying from heat, and they just had to pick on me, of course, and here, you bastards, I'll get you back to that one. Um, but yeah, obviously, like, it's going to be 38 degrees on Saturday, whatever it is, so it's going to be... 38? 38, 36, whatever, give or take. It's going to be plus 25 for us in the car, so it's really, really hot conditions, um... Yeah, so there's everything we can do, the ice bath, you know, your cool suit, make sure every, all, your, all your cooling systems work in the car. You know, the last couple of rounds, our helmet fan's been a bit on the fritz, and we've got a new bunch oh, of helmet fans helmet to try. Fans so. gone. Let's get in his head. Hey? You're already screwed. Your no, no, I'm grass, I'm grass. I've feel been, it. 
I've been carb loading. Over the years, I've noticed, I've noticed this. The bigger guys do it a lot easier. So I've been like, trying to put on weight. I find it really hard, but I'm like I'm about two kilos up. You look huge. Thanks, man. I've been, <laughs> yeah, I've been stacking it on. <laughs> have, have we had a, a really hot race yet in Gen 3? You're of that, that oh, temperature? The, the, first, the first round at um, Newcastle was pretty warm. Oh, yeah. yeah, I didn't do that one, but... Why not? I remember I shunted oh, in the yeah. shooting. <laughs> <laughs> you did too, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was really hot, but not, not only as hot as what it's going to be on Saturday. So, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be tough. But we all know, we all know what we, we sign up for. And, yeah, I actually really like them because they just, I don't know, last, in 2022, I think, uh, there was a really hot race. My car was 72 degrees for two hours, and I got out and cried like a little schoolgirl. It was shocking. <laughs> I couldn't oh, believe it. Right. I had to go had through those that real. Where, where were you with them? They were so hot. You're like yeah, 10 it was degrees the Kelly Grove car. Yeah, for whatever reason, it was 10 degrees hotter <laughs> than everyone else. So, yeah, it was a torturous day for me. Do we Where's have... oh and Where are they? Can I talk to them? <laughs> <laughs> Any others from the gallery? Yep. Is this going how anyone expected? Greg Murphy said yesterday that we should get rid of the calling systems. Do you guys have anything to say about that? Oh, it's You'd think for Murph to say when you're not in the game anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure if he was sitting where we were, he'd be, he'd be all for it. So he was, he was a bandit for the cool suit when we were teammates. Oh, mate, even loved at it. Bathurst, when it was, wasn't oh, even that hot, he loved He <laughs> wanted to use it. So, oh, Murph, it's like the older you get, the faster you were. So it's, um, I think it's the stronger he was. I love Murph. He's the best. <laughs> He's just taking the piss. Final call from the room. Any um, real questions out there? <laughs> <laughs> um, that had proper last day of school vibes. Thank you. <laughs> and good luck. Hopefully we see you again this weekend. Thanks, everyone. See, see you soon. Uh,